Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to show you how we can actually use the matrices and augment the matrices to solve a system of linear equations. Well, before we actually show you the technique, we're going to show you what we're trying to accomplish here. So let's say we have a, a set of three equations and three unknowns. So this is a system of linear equations, and we're trying to solve for x, y, and z, the three unknowns in the equation. Essentially, if we can go from this representation to this representation, we fairly well have the solution because at this point we know what z is equal to, z is equal to negative 2. If we plug that value in for here, we can solve for y, and then if we plug in the values for z and y in here, we can solve for x. So at this point, once we get to this form, it's fairly easy to solve for the three variables. So for example, once we know that z is equal to negative 2, we can then say that y plus 4 times negative 2 is equal to negative 7, so y uh, that would be minus 8 equals negative 7. If I put the negative 8 to the other side, we get y equals negative 7 plus 8, or y equals 1. So we now have z equals 2, we have y equals 1. Plugging those two values in in the first equation, we now get x plus 2 times 1 minus 1 times a negative 2 is equal to 1. Whoop, let's put a line there so we don't get messed up here. So we have x plus 2 plus 2 equals 1 or x equals 1 minus 4 or x equals negative 3. So there we have the three values for x, y, and z once we have it in this format. So the concept is if we can do the same over here with the augmented matrix we can go from this format to this format and then we have the exact same thing where we have z equals negative 2 1 times y plus 4 times z equals negative 7, and 1 times x plus 2 times y minus 1 times z equals 1, and so very easily this can be solved for x, y, and z as well. This is called the row echelon form, which means we have once across the diagonal if we don't include the augmented portion of the matrix, Notice we just only include the coefficients of the x, y, z variables. We have ones across the diagonal, zeros everywhere here on the left, bottom left corner, and we can have numbers on the upper right corner, which we can easily solve one by one by plugging the value for z, for y, and then finally finding the value for x. So the method of Gaussian elimination, that's what we're trying to learn here, the method of Gaussian elimination takes the original matrix, the augmented matrix, and changes it so that we have ones across the diagonal, zeros on the bottom left corner, so that we can easily solve for x, y, and z. So that's called the method of Gaussian elimination, and we're going to show you in the next several videos how to go from here to here to be able to solve for x, y, and z. In addition to that, we we also have what we call the reduced row echelon form, which is another way in solving for x, y, and z, and we'll show you that in some other videos coming up very soon. But here, first, we're going to learn how to do the row echelon form, and then we're going to show you how to find the reduced row echelon form. Again, the whole idea here is to solve for a, linear, a system of linear equations to solve for x, y, and z in these equations. And so stay tuned, and we'll show you how it's done.